We have a primary election coming up in a few days, and there's a state question on the ballot. I also have some social network updates to tell you about. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Here in Oklahoma on Tuesday, June 26, it's time once again to go vote. This is the primary election. It's the time you get to vote for the nominees of your party for the general election in November. Oh, by the way, if you're a registered independent, you've been invited to vote in the Democratic primary. Typically, only party diehards vote in the primary election, especially in non-presidential election years. Now, if you're one of those people who don't care about party politics, you still need to go to the polls and vote. The reason? There's a state question on this ballot. Well, the powers that be didn't wait until November in the general election, and they put this state question on the primary ballot. So that means every eligible Oklahoma voter needs to go to the polls on Tuesday, June 26th, even if you don't have a primary to vote in. And in my humble opinion, it's a fairly important state question. It's all about the legalization in Oklahoma of medical marijuana. State question number 788. Initiative petition number 412. This measure amends Oklahoma state statutes. A yes vote legalizes the licensed use, sale, and growth of marijuana in Oklahoma for medicinal purposes. A license is required for use and possession of marijuana for medicinal purposes and must be approved by an Oklahoma board-certified physician. The State Department of Health will issue medical marijuana licenses if the applicant is 18 years old or older and an Oklahoma resident. A special exemption will be granted to an applicant under the age of 18. However, these applications must be signed by two physicians and a parent or legal guardian. The department will also issue seller, grower, packaging, transportation, research, and caregiver licenses. Individual and retail businesses must meet minimum requirements to be licensed to sell marijuana to licensees. The punishment for unlicensed possession of permitted amounts of marijuana for individual who can state a medical condition is a fine not exceeding $400. Fees and zoning restrictions are established. A 7% sales tax is imposed on all medical marijuana sales. For the proposal? Yes. Against the proposal? No. Well, there you have it. That's the state question as it reads on the ballot. Now remember, this is an update to the statutes of Oklahoma, not a constitutional change. That means the state legislature can make changes to this with a simple majority vote. In the show notes, I've posted links to more information about this state question, including links to both pro and anti state question 788 groups. Please read through the information, listen to the arguments on both sides, and then make up your own mind about it. But for whatever you decide, you need to do one very important thing go vote on Tuesday, June 26th. The polls will be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. If you need more information about voting in Oklahoma, please visit the Oklahoma State Elections Board's website at ok.gov elections. You'll find all the information there. That was at ok.gov elections. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is to write your opinion about State Question 788 and to encourage everyone to go vote on June 26th. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. 
Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Now, besides the state question and the party primaries, you might also have some local stuff to vote on. If you're unsure about that, go to ok.gov elections, click on the online voter tool, and from there you can view a sample ballot. For example, here in Beckham County, where I live, there's a county question alongside the state question on the ballot, and it reads, Shall the retail sale of alcoholic beverages by the individual drink for on-premise consumption be permitted in within Beckham County, Oklahoma on Sundays, the first day of the week, election days, and Memorial Day, according to the laws of the state of Oklahoma? For the proposition, yes. Against the proposition, no. And I believe there are similar questions to this in a few other counties, so check those sample ballots at ok.gov slash elections. Have you tried out Mastodon yet? It's a somewhat new social network, and I've been really enjoying watching it grow and develop. Well, recently, I had to move Blog Oklahoma to a new Mastodon home. The server we were on, mastodon.cloud, went down for more than a week, so I had to move to a new server. Now, luckily, Mastodon.cloud is back up, but we're still moved. <laughs> Our new Mastodon address is toot.cat slash at blog Oklahoma. That's right. That was T-O-O-T dot cat slash the at symbol blog Oklahoma. I'll have a link to it and more information about Mastodon in the show notes. I hope to see you there. It's a really fun and interesting place to be. Now, speaking of social networks, <laughs> I've done something at Facebook that has drastically improved my news feed. Now, long-time listeners know I am not a huge fan of Facebook. But I use it because, well, that's where the people are. And that leads me into what I did. I went through and unliked and unfollowed most of all the Facebook pages I've accumulated over the years. So what's left in my news feed, besides <laughs> advertising are just the people I've connected with and a few select local news pages. Now I'm seeing what my friends share. It's kind of amazing. <laughs> there are people in my news feed. <laughs> and I'm seeing local news and events now. Before, it was a cluttered mess of what Facebook thought I wanted to see based on all my page likes and whoever upped the money to spend for the posts. Now that I unlike most of those pages, I'm actually starting to see what I want to see. It's a good experiment, and I would encourage you to try it too. See if it makes a difference in your news feed. You can always go back and re-like those pages. Did you know we have our own Cafe Press store? There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the blog Oklahoma bonus playlist on Spotify. There is now well over 34 hours of music for you to enjoy. I'll have links to this and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of June 17th, 2018, Blog Oklahoma has 725 registered Oklahoma bloggers. <laughs> your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time.